Greetings, hallowed horror fanatics, and welcome to Transmission Trauma, the show where if you've got the tricks, we've certainly got the traits. Well, bloodsuckers, it's that time of the year again, a time when all the kids are out on the loose for loose cash and sweets, and the rest of us are all getting dressed up and getting slaughtered at the nearest Halloween party. However, if flying on a broom and masquerading is not your thing this year, then why not get yourself down to the movies? There they have everything to make your sickest fantasies come true. Everything from psychos with big choppers to demonically possessed girls with crucifixes. Or you could even try YouTube and have a piece of the gory action right at your fingertips. That's what I did and found some of the sickest, most depraved Halloween movies to date. There are tons of them out there on the tube, you know, but here is my top favourite four. Ladies and gentlemen, in at number four we have The Halloween Joke Show 8, A Night of the Neverlasting Magic. <laughs> September 1999, the Halloween Joke Show 8 revolved around the idea of timed conjuration and lax everlasting spells. It all starts when the show's host, Veronica, is late for a Halloween party. She races down the cemetery hill, not noticing that there's an old abandoned wreck at the bottom of it, and crashes her go-kart. But do not fear, the old hag has a trick in store. And so she decides to turn the old wreck into a new sporty design. However, the magic doesn't last and she's left sitting on a pile of scrap in the middle of nowhere before a fading sunset. <laughs> The Halloween Joke Show 8 marks an end of the Joke Show series and ironically it was the first one to ever go mainstream so its release saw a dividing fans. Some thought it was great that the Veronica was actually going commercial others however felt a little bit of loss for their underground icon so it may have lacked the edginess of its predecessors, but still, the Halloween Joke Show 8 is still a firm favourite for a Halloween bash. However, one up. Ladies and gentlemen, in at number three we have... The Halloween Joke Show. This was some years before YouTube was at our pads and some years before the widespread availability of DVD. So naturally it was released onto VHS. And it introduced us to the character of Veronica, a witch who has conjuration, telekinesis and self-metamorphosis powers at her hands. The original show centres around the main character who is getting ready to do a Halloween gig at a Halloween party. However, it is there she realises there is something unsettling stirring within. Do you suppose that I am the 
that when I whipped up that magic spell, it got rid of me. And when the boy come, the boy turned into me. But it doesn't make sense. How could it possibly happen? I hear you cry. Maybe. That's right, grotty grouch bags. Your witch may just be a boy. Or is it a witch who's really a boy or a boy who's really a witch? I could never tell the first time I saw this piece of cinematic history. But never mind, because the show that premiered just days before Halloween went on to spawn eight sequels, sold to an hysterical live audience, and even went to live on the air some years before reaching an everlasting place on YouTube. But no creeps, I'm not even joking, because now it is time for some blood-curdling horror. I trolled the darkest bells of YouTube and narrowed down two of the sickest, most scariest movies on there. Ladies and gentlemen, in at number two we have... Diary of Decay. Yet one thing still strive to keep me alive, my appetite for flesh and blood. channel. It has gained over 135,000 views worldwide, featured on many zombie and horror sites and has also been received in over 120 countries. Glad death incarnate.
Apes, Diary of Decay, together with its mix of horror, blood and gothic eroticism, is a definite must-see this Halloween for all you undead out there. And last but not least, the moment you've all been waiting for, in at number one we have... Hour of the Witch. Hour of the Witch revolves around the idea of a spinster lady called Felicia Lovett who was tried and executed on the terms of witchcraft back in the 16th century. Legend has it that her spirit rises from the grave for one whole hour after midnight. It's this legend onto which the film is based. It's about a 19 year old lad named Craig Yates who has been dared to prove the folklore wrong. However, when he decides to camp out in the home conservatory one Halloween night, he begins to get the feeling that he's not alone in the night. It is then he begins to experience some rather paranormal activity. Hour of the Witch is perfect for a Halloween bash because it has every element that makes a good horror film. It's got the dark, it's got occult paraphernalia, it's got the shocks, it's got the gore factor, it's got just about everything to satisfy every horror junkie and paranormal activist there is. And if you ask me, creeps, I think it's just downright creepy. So why don't you get onto YouTube now and you can see the lot and have yourself a Halloween party all of your very own at your very own fingertips. That's all from me for now. I'm off down the pub now, so I'll see you all next year. <laughs>